talk to castaway creepy dudes talk to women they have no chance with pss, pss. hey baby come here you're so cute fine f you then you didn't i didn't want to pet you anyway i mean come to think of it that kind of is more so the common way i just didn't know they had a categorical name to it hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day we're going back into r slash nice guys and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing show your support and see more content like this in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below and if you have not already subscribe and turn on notifications okie dokie let's go the heavy girls maybe don't shoot for the star so much i'm going to try to not be so mean with this post but many of us decent looking guys are frustrated and i think this honestly needs to be said hey you fat obese heavy set women maybe don't try to swipe right on the non-fat guys maybe you should actually give those out of shape guys a chance instead of flooding our inboxes with your own desperate messages they deserve love too i know i'm going to get a lot of flack but here's the honest truth if you are an obese woman who is single you cannot expect non-obese men to want to date you that is just a fact unless you find a chubby chaser as a needle in this relatively small haystack quit acting like most of us are going to respond to you i hate to be the bearer of bad news but being obese is not sexy and the chubby obese guys who are hitting you up on a whim are probably the best you'll get unless you start taking serious steps to lose all your excess weight. If uh, this is offensive to you, then I'm sorry, but I'm also sick and tired of only getting interest from fat girls who are likely ignoring the lonely fat guy who might actually enjoy their company. As someone who works out regularly and doesn't pick out at all, I know I absolutely won't. Ah, with that lovely personality, they must be lining up for you, ain't it? If we agree and remain in this way for two th years or three years, will anything prevent us from getting married? With the consent of our parents as well? Frankly, I like to have a family. Me too. With children playing, and I see them as they grow. It will be a beautiful life. I dream a lot. Uh, hey dude, you've only been talking to them for about three hours, so there's a couple extra steps between, hey, how are you doing, just beginning the messages, and let's plan our life together you know there might be a couple things slow down the number one female turn on that makes her want you over other guys ah great one of these stupid ads again at least on the bright side this one is not 34 minutes long i just don't like this dynamic and i'd try not to share pics of myself in the first place okay well whatever i didn't realize you considered someone's feelings about a topic fighting with them i would view it as their opinion i have said nothing to you mean or in any kind of confrontational manner. I simply think you're too young for me, so that's why you're all about picks and how to get overly defensive when I tell you no. I don't think you are the person I want. Good luck finding someone, though. But you'll be famous on r slash nice guys. You too. Good luck with that personality. I've been counting the red flags, and I'm glad to be out of this. Hey, think bad. You count the flags you were producing yourself because you might as well be a factory. Why date women? Most women want you to get pink pilled with feminism and be feminine for the rest of your life and call other women who disagree with them all internalized misogynist and will make other women become feminists. I believe as a 16-year-old half-Hispanic male with brunette hair, sideburns, and a beard that me achieving my goals in life is like going to Russia and attending language school it does not require me giving in to feminism. Russia is going the right way with getting rid of feminism. I don't like Putin, but I personally think Russia has the tightest mindset when it comes to feminists. Why does not dating women and being cautious when dating suddenly make you unsuccessful in life or incel? That's not how it works. Why do I suddenly need to give in to feminism and achieve my goals? That is ass and terrible advice. How come everyone calls my arguments strong? 
Hellman. Well, if we do think back to Wizard of Oz, it could be the lack of brain. Need to find a mature women like 20-some, cause all y'all girls ain't in the right mindset to find a nice guy who actually knows how to treat y'all right, and ask y'all want the a-hole who gonna leave y'all for a bad or B, and cry about it when they do. Don't settle for monkeys. I've had plenty of opportunities in my life to date down, but I always refuse to, to do that. If anything, I'll date up or be at the same level, but I'll never go for downgrades. Those are just my standards and values as a man, and I think you should have the same. What do you mean date down? The quality of you as a human is already so low that if you went any lower, you'd hit hollow earth. I'm always asked, why are you single? You have all of these things going for you. You travel. You're always doing productive things. Me, most women are taken by F-boys or hurt to the point that they think that everybody is one. Or, and I'm just spitballing here, they see that you post this kind of stuff online. Are we going to get together again? Possibly, but things in my world haven't changed much. I'm busy and introverted, and the pandemic's end isn't quite in sight yet, and I'm really not comfortable going most places these days. Do you have high anxiety? You have no idea. That's fine. I have to discover why I only attract people that do not need friendship from me. I only meet introverts with high anxiety. The last few years have been negative for me because I am basically chasing shadows of people that are not interested or don't realize their situation. And my idea of what a friendship should be, hanging out on a regular basis, is not what they want. So unless you want to be friends and hang out regularly, there is no point in me pursuing a friendship with you. Uh, from my experience, it tells me I won't get what I want. I'm an introvert who thrives on conversation and connection out of my house. That's not the definition of introvert, you dingwat. This is not a reflection on you or your situation. This is about what I want. It's up to you what you do with this information. Thanks for being honest with me. I learning. I forgot to mention, I like you and I think we could be friends. Our love for music is a lovely connection. Cheers. One more thing. There is some good in all this. We can learn from each other and I can help you too. That's what friendship is all about. So it's not all bad news. When we did have coffee at Delish, it was nice. You're a nice person, really easy to get along with. I will leave you be. Enjoy your long weekend. I miss my Polly. I want to say I'm an extrovert, hello well. And therein lies the things that irk me about introverted anxiety cases. Their lack of ability to contact, reply, and maintain friendships. In other words, if you have a friend at all. Anyhow, I recognize this early, so I need not bother you anymore. I'm the easiest person you'll ever come across to make an acquaintance out of. Good luck, person. Enjoy your week weekend. Your unwillingness to sit down and talk about it isn't going to change anything. Only a sit down chat will. Unless of course you are happy living the way you do. I'm offering you a chance to change. It would benefit me too. To learn why I keep attracting people that I can't slash won't give me what I need as friends. I talked at length with a friend today. B2 is introverted and has high anxiety. He gave me some insight. I'm not trying to be rude or childish. On Saturday morning, I spent the entire day trying to think of a response that was thoughtful and honest. And when I didn't respond in the time frame that you felt was enough time, you came at me questioning if I had any friends at all. That was such a hurtful thing to hear. Yes, I have friends, but my relationship with those people probably looks nothing like the friendship you wish to hold with me. 
When I'm feeling attacked or cornered, I have a tendency to shrink rather than stand up for myself, and so I didn't respond any further. I have an incredibly difficult time with being forward, but quite frankly, your comments have put me off from wanting to have a relationship with you. I'm glad you gained some insight into how to have friendships with introverted slash eye anxiety folks, but I'm happy with me as I am. As flawed and effed up as others may see it, thank you for thinking that I'm interesting enough to want to get to know better, and thank you for this conversation. It's allowed me to be more direct than I usually am. As you wish. The truth always hurts. Nobody likes to be told their flaws. We have different opinions on what a friendship should be. Carry on as you are. Changing a nothing will change nothing. I don't need your friendship. I need people that want to socialize with me. Nothing more. I'm not apologizing for telling the truth. Good day to you. I'm sorry, but the whole thing, did you not understand what the word introverted was? Because I feel like that would have just kind of started slowing things down a little while back. It might just be me, and I know I'm not the smartest bull but lows, um, but um, I, I, I at least know what the word introverted means. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, something about the video you liked, or just a good conversation in general. And if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.